Greetings and welcome this time on Wild Nature Shack. Armadillo! Armadillo is a Spanish word meaning little armored one, so it's probably pronounced a little bit more like Armadillo. Armadillos live exclusively in the Americas, with most of those species living in South America, and 11 of them exclusive just to Paraguay. The smallest of the armadillo family is the pink fairy armadillo, which grows to 5 to 6 inches in length, while the largest is the giant armadillo, which can grow up to 60 inches in length. Now that is a beast. Armadillos are mammals, meaning that they produce milk, and they are also mainly insectivores, meaning that they live on a diet almost exclusively of insects, such as grubs and termites and ants. Although they have been known to eat small mammals and reptiles, but as they have no enamel on their teeth, they have no incisors and they have no canines, eating that kind of stuff is not what they were built for. They were built to eat insects. Armadillos come from the same family as anteaters and sloths, which is the Edentata order, uh, which means toothless, although it is the anteater, which is the only toothless mammal out of that group. Armadillos are the only mammal whose entire body is covered with hard shell, and that hard shell is made up of bony plates that covers their head, back, legs, and tail. They have very poor eyesight. If you stood very still, one would probably wander past you not even knowing you were there. But they have excellent sense of smell and excellent hearing. Armadillos have very little body fat too, so they must spend every single day hunting for and eating food. If they spend more than a couple of days out in the cold with no food, they will die. Armadillos are famous for being able to curl themselves into a ball to protect themselves with their hard outer casing, but there is actually only one species of armadillo that can do this, and that is the three-banded armadillo. The rest of the armadillo species are unable to curl themselves into that ball, they just tend to hunker down, just retract their legs and down on the ground and have a hard casing on the outside, although if a predator just flips them over, then they are done for. Contrary to popular belief, the shell on the armadillo is actually not necessarily to stop predators getting at them, it's more to help them run into thorny undergrowth and places where predators would be very hard put to get themselves into. They can run at up to 30 miles per hour, which is pretty speedy. Amazingly, they are also great swimmers. They can hold their breath for five to six minutes and they are really good at doggy paddling over the top of the water. In order to give them the buoyancy, then they store air in their intestines to give them that lift to stop them sinking to the bottom. Although they're more than happy just sinking to the bottom of the water and walking along the riverbed. A female armadillo is able to postpone her pregnancy until the environmental conditions are satisfactory for her. Most armadillos give birth to a batch of between four and eight offspring. Although the nine-banded armadillo always gives birth to four identical quadruplets and they are the only mammal known to do this. Although you may not expect it, armadillos have been on many menus and in the Great Depression of the 1920s they were known as hoover hogs on the menu. So that's it this time on the Wild Nature Shack. We hope you've enjoyed your stay. Stay tuned for the next episode.